Hey guys, so I thought I'd do uh, another movie haul video. Uh, these are all Blu-rays this time around. So I got two that you'll see here, and I got Vinegar Syndrome, and then I got uh, Criterion, Barnes & Noble Criterion Sale. Uh, so I'm going to get into this. So the first two, they're not from, you'll see what I mean. One is from Mill Creek, and that's the Monster Scale book. Which, you know, everybody and their brother has shown this off at this point, but I figured I gotta get this because knowing Toho, it's, from what I heard, it's not long until the stuff goes out of print because, you know, if there's an error, if there's something they don't like on, on the disc, then it goes out of print. So I don't know if that's the case with this, but, you know. Um, I look forward to revisiting this nonetheless. It's been a while since I've seen this. Um, and I've been kind of getting back into the kaiju stuff. So, you know, m mainly Godzilla. But, you know, this is kind of an offshoot. And, and I do like Mothra. Um, she's one of my... F um, I like her. I like King Ghidra. And, I don't know. I don't know how else I like one other kaiju... But those are the three that come to mind that, that you know, I, I I would say I like them the most. But, hey, um, I'll open this now. It has a, what's really cool about this, um, is that it's a slipcover. In addition, you don't really see that with steelbooks. It's, that's beautiful. Yeah. Um, nowadays, it's just steelbook. <laughs> but, you know, here's the inside. This is Mill Creek. Which, they're really up in their game. Like, I thought their You're the Heart of the Future release was a great release, which I still think it is. And this is, like, I, I know they're starting to put out steelbooks, and I, and I heard they will be for their Ultraman stuff, which I don't know if I'm going to get any of that. You know, I'm starting to get back into Ultraman, so I might. Um, see what happens there. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I'll open this, too. Them. I got this from the Prime Day sale, which I have Poltergeist coming in when, whenever they get that back in stock. Um, it's a classic, you know, giant ant movie. Which I remember when the DVD came out of this movie, but I figured, eh, I'll just get the Blu-ray. It's, uh, it'll be worth revisiting. Yeah, it's, it's worth, you know what I mean, I'm, I look forward to revisiting it. Um, I guess I can go it now, it doesn't matter. But if you miss out on Prime Day, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Because <laughs> I went on for two days, and I did buy, was it, I think I bought digital release. I don't know if they were part of the Prime Day sale, but I figured I'm going to get the story of Owen and, and S&M S &M Hunter. Anyways, so hopefully I can watch this on my TV, because I don't have Prime. I had the trial for Mothra here, and then I canceled it. You know, So I think it ends like, Prime trial ends for me, like, you know, this month or something like that. Um, but regardless, the digital releases I bought were only a couple bucks. Were, were, you know, regardless of whether they were on sale, um, you know. Because I know that Story of O Blu-ray goes for a lot, and I feel like it's only 100 bucks just for that, you know. Anyway, out of Vinegar Syndrome, I'm going to show these off first. Um, this is part of their halfway through Black Friday sale. I got their logo pin. Well, should I have one like this, but it's smaller and it doesn't have the, the shiny, um, the, the pattern in the back here. And then, yeah, these all came together and I got, uh, was it Blood Harvest? This movie, Tiny Tim. <laughs> You've seen this movie. Joe Bob Briggs, I think, also, um, Played it on his uh, Shutter drive-in show. So, yeah. If you haven't seen Blood Harvest, eh, it's it's worth a watch. It's fun. It's silly, but you know. And then I got what is this? Battle for the Lost Planet. This is cool. <laughs> Speed Battle for the Lost Planet. I did get this one, along with Mutant War. So this is a double feature. Uh, well, sure, I like that about Vinegar Syndrome. Similar releases of the movies are related. I don't know if 
Mutant Wars is necessarily a sequel, but they're related. Uh, you know, because I guess they're pretty similar, so that's why they're together. Um, yeah, I like when Vinegar Syndrome does that when I put out double feature releases. I can help this now. Well, I don't feel like taking this off. <laughs> they're one of the few companies that still puts on security stickers. I don't know if Severin still does that, but I know they were for a while. So, anyway. Then I got Mountain Top Motel Massacre. This is a beautiful slipcover as well. Look at that. That's, I, like the, I like the color on that. <laughs> Probably says a lot about the movie that I don't... Because I've never seen this, so I know very little about it. And this is... Yeah, that's a... It's a bit grotesque, you know? But I kind of like it. Yeah. This is what I've heard about, you know... I mean, it gets a title like... Mount Tombow... Massacre is going to stand out, you know, and it's one that will certainly stay with you, even if you've never seen the movie. You, chances are, if you're a horror fan and you're into the low budget stuff, you've probably heard of this. Um, you know, I'll probably review it, review it on Letterboxd or on here or even both. You know, I haven't done a review on here in a while, but anyways, uh, what's it, the suckling? I didn't get those with the slit, this is the only one I didn't, but you know. I want to check it out anyways, um, it looks pretty, it's about this little monster, this creature here, uh, that's all I know about it, <laughs> um, yeah, I'll probably watch this today, though, so that's, I was thinking about watching this, yes, because I love it in the room, and I got, what, Uninvited, which is really cool because it's actually double-sided. A cat movie. I heard this was all right. You know, I wanted to check it out because I think George Kennedy's in this movie. Yeah. And this has was it the uh, the theatrical and international edit. The international edit is only like two minutes longer, ninety-one minute theatrical version. But you know, I don't know which one I'm gonna watch. I don't think it really matters, though. So. I probably, which ones I've never seen this, I'll probably watch the 91 minute version, because I know for, um, that's what I did with Death Row, Death Row Game Show. I watched the, because I know for that they have, like, the director's cut as a, as a bonus, but I watched the original. But if I will rewatch it, I'll probably watch the other version, you know. Which I probably will rewatch that movie, it's fun. But anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent. And for Barnes & Noble's Criterion Sale, which is still going on uh, till the end of this, I think it's early August is when it ends. I don't exactly remember when, but I would look into it if you're interested because 50% off on Criterion's, that's, you're saving a lot. Especially if you buy, <laughs> you know, a handful of them like I did. Um, Blue Velvet, which this is an upgrade from my DVD. I look forward to revisiting this movie. I remember it being very, uh, you know, it, it, a bit disturbing, a bit weird, but I mean, that's how David Lynch, that's how his movies usually are. This packaging is, uh, it, it reminds me of the Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me packaging. Yes. And it's like a, it's a, it's a, like a hard box, I guess you would call this, yeah. And also the slacker packaging, yeah, for that one. And then I got Detour. It's film noir. I haven't seen this, but I heard it was pretty good, you know. And uh, I'm always, I don't have a lot of noir films on uh, physical media, so I figured I should probably do something about that. <laughs> Diabolic or Lay Diabolic, which I've seen this, it's been a long time, probably since like high school, 10 years, 15 years since I've seen this movie, but I've wanted this one for a while, um, yeah, French Horror, this is one I would recommend picking up, in fact, um, if you're, if you're going to take advantage of the sale. Well, sure, I mean, yeah, I haven't watched the discs, but I, I've seen the movie, so I think I can make that judgment. 
And I think it's a fair call to make. Funny games. I've only seen the remake of this. But it's the same director as, uh, as a remake. Which I think that's... With remakes, that's actually a, a good... Uh, a good route to go. But I remember the remake being pretty brutal. Uh, this is Tim Roth and Naomi Watts. And yeah, the twins in that movie. They're kind of jerks. The villains, you know. But if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. They're, they're kind of messed up. I've only watched this one so far. Life is Sweet. Uh, it's a Mike Lee film, which I really like this. It's British kind of a family drama, you know. But there's comedic elements as well. Um, it's worth checking out. Um, uh, especially if you're into family dramas, or even British films. Give this a watch. Um, I haven't watched the uh, interview, or listened to the interview. It's an audio interview, but I watched the five minute his short films on here. And they're, they're good to great, I would say. That, that's how I would rank them. I would probably rewatch them because some of my what some of I was into more than others, but you know, I mean, it's cool that they include that nonetheless. And then another noir. This one I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, Night in the City. I think there was a remake with Robert De Niro, which I think I've only seen like part of that. <laughs> but you know, this is the one that 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 uh, I would. This is a particular interest. I don't know. I think the remake is... I don't even know why they remade this movie. You know? <laughs> to be honest. But... You know. It's... I don't really remember it all that well. Okay. I think I've only saw like part of it. And then I... Because I think what happened was I recorded it thinking it was this one. Or something like that. Because I was really getting a noir at that time. So... Which I still am. I mean, I just... Yeah, this has the 95-minute version and the 101-minute British version. Which I think I only saw the 95-minute version. I mean, either way, I'll be revisiting this. Okay, so, yeah. That is it for now. Um, I'll probably have... I don't know when. Because I'm waiting on Poltergeist and I'm waiting on the, on the Arrow sale. Which will, uh, you know, since that's, you know, UK shipping from the UK, that's going to take a little longer than US shipping, but that's all right. I'm patient. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I'll probably have this up tonight. And I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about going to work for tomorrow because I know a friend of mine, his friends all decided not to go. So if I do, then I'll probably have a video or two from that. But, you know, I hope you've enjoyed watching this, and I'll uh, see you guys next time.